Hello, my name is Brianna Morgan. I am your water conservation specialist here in Lake Havasu City, and I'm here to tell you about our water supply and where our water comes from. Our water supply travels a long distance in order to reach your faucet at home. The journey of our water supply begins way up in the Rocky Mountains, much further north of Arizona, and travels over 1,000 miles before it reaches Lake Havasu City. Water in the form of snow is deposited on the Rocky Mountains every year in the winter months. This snow then melts as the weather warms in the spring and summer and flows into a very large watershed we call the Colorado River Basin. This basin is home to the Colorado River, a river that is vital to the Western United States as it supplies water to over 40 million people. The Colorado River flows through multiple states and eventually makes its way right here to Lake Havasu City. Lake Havasu, the body of water you see here every day, is actually a man-made body of water known as a reservoir, created by damming a portion of the Colorado River. The Lake Havasu Reservoir was created in the 1930s after the construction of the Parker Dam, and it was created for the sole purpose of storing fresh water in order to disperse it to millions of Americans in the Southwest for drinking water purposes. Here in Lake Havasu City, we depend on the Lake Havasu Reservoir to supply us with all of the drinking water we use in our city. Unbelievably, although we are not a very large city with a population of only 56,000 people, we use an average of 10 million gallons of water every single day. A majority of the water we get as a city comes from a very large well located on the island, known as the Horizontal Collector Well. This well is one of the largest wells in the country, and it has the ability to draw 26 million gallons of water per day on a consistent basis. The Horizontal Collector Well was built in the early 2000s, is 103 feet deep and is 16 feet in diameter. Although this well is pulling water from the Lake Havasu Reservoir, it is technically a groundwater well. All groundwater in Lake Havasu City is water that has infiltrated the ground from the Lake Havasu Reservoir itself. Once we pull water from the horizontal collector well, the water is then sent to our water treatment plant in order to be cleaned so it is safe for us to drink. After the water leaves the water treatment plant, it is then pumped uphill throughout the city through a large network of pipes that are underground. The water arrives at multiple different water holding tanks scattered throughout the city where the water is stored. Some of you may have seen these water storage tanks in the city before. The tanks are very large with some of them having the capability of storing up to 2 million gallons of water. The water tanks then supply water to a separate set of underground pipes that run downhill to all of the homes in that area. The water pipes run down every street and supply water to every home so that when you turn on a faucet, you have a constant supply of water delivered right to you. Lastly, after you use the water, any water that runs back down your drains or into your toilets then gets sent to our sewer system. This sewer water is sent to one of our wastewater treatment plants to be cleaned well enough so that we can reuse our water again for watering landscapes such as our golf courses or parks. Using this cleaned wastewater, which we call effluent or reuse, helps us to not use as much of our drinking water for non-drinking purposes like watering plants. Thank you and please join me to save water.